I'm just gonna do a quick little get ready with me because let's talk about the game plan. My first time going to Half Price Books. I finally moved to a place where there's a Half Price Books. I feel like used bookstores are just treasure chests where you get to spend a good amount of time walking through all of the shelves because you never know what's gonna be there. I feel like backlist books and backlist series have me very excited right now as well. So we're going in with an open mind, whatever we find was meant to be. I don't have anything super particular in my head. And then I also have a bag of books that hasn't sold on Pango in quite a while. So I'm just going to sell them at half price books as well. So not only are we hoping to buy some books, but we're being productive and we're clearing some space off of our shelves. The hope is that at Half Price Books, it treats me very well for our first visit. So I hope that you're excited for this video. I'm so sick and excited. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you when we are in the car.
just had the best experience of my whole entire life. That YA section was such a sleigh. I was trying to like talk really quietly, but it was so quiet in there. I was like, I feel very awkward. I'm gonna do a big haul when I get home because I'm so excited about everything that I found. Literally so excited. Some of these books have been on my like want to read list on Goodreads for actually so long that the fact that I now have a physical copy of them, I feel like will help me to prioritize them. Now, oh my gosh, I am on a high. I got like over five books, maybe six or seven books. I'm so excited. Now I'm trying to decide. I overheard some girls in there talking about some other like used bookstores that are in the area. I was like being a creeper trying to eavesdrop. I so wanted to go over and talk to them, but <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Um, now I'm like, should I try to hit up maybe like one more used bookstore just to, just a browsy poo? I heard a couple that they had mentioned. I think I might do some quick research on Apple Maps and we'll see, but I'll probably hit up at least one more bookstore. Half Price Books treated me so well on my first visit, I can't even get over it. Let's see where we're going to go next. spines and you can tell that they've all been very very loved time for a book haul i was not expecting to get this many books but as i mentioned the first half price books experience was absolutely amazing a lot of these are ya because i was just having the time of my life in there this first one has been on my tbr like my want to read on goodreads for such a long time where dreams descend by janella angelis i think that this book gets some mixed reviews i don't think it has the highest rating on goodreads however this book could go one of two ways for me it could go really really well because i've heard it compared to carval some people say it's a little bit too much like carval for their liking that's where it might not work for me because as you know, if you're familiar with my channel, Stephanie Garber is my queen of all queens. Like I'm obsessed with her and I love Carval. That was like my first fantasy romance. And here we are today. So this is about a city covered in ice and ruin. A group of magicians faces off in a daring game of magical feats to find their next headliner of the conquering circus, only to find themselves under the threat of an unseen danger striking behind the scenes. As each act becomes more and more risky and the number of missing magicians piles up, three are forced to reckon with their secrets before the darkness comes for them next. And they each have their own like specialties or like powers or whatever. I think it sounds really interesting. I'm pretty excited for this one. And this is a YA fantasy, like I mentioned. Oh my gosh, this also has been on my TBR for so long. And this one I've heard incredible things about. Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. This isn't fantasy romance. I believe it's just a fantasy. In an empire on the brink of war, An is no one with no past and no family. Alton is a lost heir, his future stolen away as a child. When they meet, Alton sees in An a path to reclaiming the throne, and An sees a way to finally unlock her past and understand her lethal magic abilities. But a brewing war threatens both of their plans, and they may have to pay a far deadlier price than either could have imagined. Can't wait for this. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Furyborn by Claire Legrand, I couldn't remember. It's been on my want to read for literally ever. I just couldn't remember like what my friends had said about it because I know that so many people have read this book already. But when I saw that it's about assassins who ambush our main character's best friend, Riel risks everything to save him, exposing herself as one of a pair of prophesized queens, a queen of light and a queen of blood. To prove she is the sun queen, Riel must endure seven elemental magical trials. If she fails, she will be executed unless the trials kill her first. Deadly trials, 
hidden queen. There's assassins in this. I was like, mm -hmm, period. Okay, these I'm so excited for. Sorry, I've said that about literally every book, but I'm so excited. Y'all have been telling me to read these books because I loved the angels in Crescent City series. These are by Nalini Singh. I have Angel's Blood in the Guild Hunter. It says a Guild Hunter novel, so I'm assuming it's the Guild Hunter series. And then I got the second book as well, which is called Archangel's Kiss. I'm so excited. They had a massive section of like mass market paperback paranormal romances from like a long time ago. And I was like, mm, I bet Nalini Singh is here. Singh? I think that's how you say it. And she was. I was not disappointed. I was also looking for, let me get my phone. I was also looking for Magic Bites by Ilona Andrews because she is in that same like time period. They did have one or two of her books, but it wasn't the one that I was looking for. So we might have to go back eventually and look for, look for her. But I was so happy to find these two. I don't know how, it's been a long time since I've read a mass market paperback like this. They're really cute, um, but the text is very small and close together. So we'll see how these go. Then we have a book that I added actually very recently to my want to read. It's called Forest, I just spit. It's called Forest of Souls by Lori M. Lee. This is giving me vibes like Kylie Lee Baker's Keeper of Night. Sorry, I was just looking at my bookshelves behind you. Or like kind of like a Bonesmith by Nikki Pau Preto, I believe. It just seems like a very dark YA fantasy and I kind of love this subgenre. So this book is about after years of training to become the queen's next royal spy, Saoirse Ashwin's plans are derailed when shamans attack and kill her best friend, Sango, question mark. And then Saoirse somehow restores Sango to life. Unveiled as the first soul guide in living memory, Saoirse is summoned to the domain of the Spider King. For centuries, he has used his influence over the dead wood, an ancient forest possessed by souls to enforce peace between the kingdoms. Now, with the trees growing wild and untamed, only a soul guide can restrain them. As war looms, Saoirse must master her newly awakened abilities before the trees shatter the brittle peace or worse, claim Sango, the friend she would die for. Tell me that doesn't sound absolutely incredible. This has like some mixed reviews on Goodreads and I think it has to do with the execution of the plot. Like the plot sounds so interesting. The character sounds so juicy. We'll see how I go with it because I'm a massive fan of books like this, but it's definitely giving Bonesmith. Okay, and then the last one is actually just a trophy book for me and I will be taking this sticker off, but Heartless Hunter by Kristen Siccarelli. I have read this book. I loved it. I ended up giving it five stars, maybe a 4.5, but I'm pretty sure it was close to a five star. Absolutely loved it. Cannot wait for the second book. I just needed to get a physical copy of it because I read it, I believe through my Libby app. So this is my trophy book. Look how aged <laughs> the Nalini Singh books look compared to the rest of these. So this is the haul. This is seven books, definitely more than I was expecting to purchase, but here we are. They also had, and I know I showed you guys like all of these tote bags, but like they had incredible tote bags. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't purchase one. Like I just keep thinking about them, but I think that means maybe like next month we have to go back. You know what I'm saying? Hope that you enjoyed this video, friends. I had absolutely so much fun. If you have read any of these books and loved any of these books, please let me know in the comments down below so that we can chit chat about them. If any of these are on your want to read, let me know. Also, if you would like me to do a particular reading vlog for any of these, let me know down below. I think that these two have to be in their own reading vlog, so we'll see how that goes. I love y'all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Toodles.